Hey guys, I'm Zen and welcome back to my studio. So today I'll be showing you guys my collection of reptiles versus whales and dolphins, okay? I've placed them right here on the floor, okay? So let's get right into it. Let's go. Alright guys, so let's begin. The first figure right here is actually an alligator, I think. Yep, that's right. Oh, it's actually a crocodile. I beg your pardon, okay? So this figure has been with me for like quite a long time, probably like a year, maybe, not too sure. Next, what is this? Take a look at this. This is basically a pilot wheel, a pilot wheel figure. I think this is like one of our very few pilot wheel figures. Do you guys know why it is known as a pilot? Because they actually swim in pods, groups, and there's always one leader which is known as the pilot. Next, we have a Blaine Views Big Wheel. Okay, it's a really beautiful one, I'm gonna say. Next up, another crocodile. This time it is in what? This is an this is a crocodile and this is an alligator. Okay, so basically you can tell the difference when it comes to the snout. The crocodile has a narrower and more triangular snout as compared to the alligator. Alright, let's move on. We have a Komodo dragon. They are native to like Indonesia. All right, they can run pretty fast and their bite, the bite is actually quite deadly, okay? Next, what else we have? We have a beautiful bow head wheel. I think we have two bow head wheel figures, if I'm not wrong. Next, what is this? Let's guess. Let's guess whether this is um a crocodile or an alligator i think it should be a crocodile i think yes that's right it is a crocodile because the snout is actually quite triangular next up we have a red ear slider yes this is a red ear slider which is a i wouldn't call this a sea animal because it can actually live in water and also on land here we have a fruit neck lizard that comes with this really huge frill okay beautiful lizard what is this this is actually known as the right whale it's a huge figure yep let's see what else we've got what is this this it's a pacific white setter dolphin i'm not sure sh i'm not too sure let's check it out it is as oh i'm correct pacific white setter dolphin nice nice one and here we have a sperm whale. You can easily recognize this by the very squarish head. I think this figure is with ours for like, uh, I think close to a year, I guess, probably. All right, another Komodo dragon. This one is a quite a small one. We got this like many years ago. Pretty cool one, I'm gonna say. This one is a really adorable one. I mean, if you guys are watching my videos for the very first time, this is actually a movable fruit neck lizard. Check this out. You can actually run. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Okay, I don't want to let it get away. So, yep. I'm putting this into the, the box. Next up, what is this? I think this is a beluga wheel. I think so. Yep, a, belu a beluga. And uh, let's see what else we've got. We have a black Hard snake. In fact, we have two of them. Yep. I didn't know they are actually the same, so we bought two. Yeah, by accident. Unintentionally, okay? Next up, what is this? I think this is known as the Thorny Dragon. Yes, this one is actually a false head. So from the you know, if you look at if you look at it from behind, this actually looks like a head. Yeah, okay, let's move on. What is this? Um, from the look of the snot, this one should be a crocodile. Yep, that's right. Let's see what else we've got over here. This should be a gray wheel. All right. Yes, it is a gray wheel. And all this little circular thing, they are actually known as barnacles. So they basically grow on um, different animals. They even grow on turtles. Let's see what else we've got. This one is actually an American alligator. Nice one. 
This is a humpback wheel. It is easily recognizable just by the little um, circular. Uh, what do you call this? I'm not too sure what to call this. Yep, so you can basically recognize it by the, all these little bumps on his body. Okay. Let's see what else we've got. We have a boa constrictor, I guess. Oh no, but I beg your pardon. This is actually a green anaconda. A pretty deadly lizard. And um, this is actually a bearded dragon. Yeah, it's a really beautiful one. An orange bearded dragon. Looks so cool. Alright, let's see what else we've got. Another snake. I think this should be our boa constrictor. Yes, Amazon tree boa. I beg your pardon. Beautiful snake. A white alligator. All right. This figure has been around in our collection for like one of the. This is definitely one of the oldest figure in our collection. Pygmy sperm whale figure. Our one and only pygmy sperm whale. One of the smaller species of whales around. And what is this? This is a veiled chameleon. You can see it has a really long tongue, which is kind of like sticky. And you can use this tongue to actually capture its prey really, really easily. Very, very awesome. This it's a um, snake. It's a really it's an um, electronic snake. You can actually like um, sleeve there around. Let's see whether it's able to sleeve there right here. It's not able to like run on like this kind of um, soft surface. So I think let's just turn this off. Yeah, I'm putting this into the box right over here. Okay, we have a black-headed snake right over here, which I have no idea what you know species of snake this is. If you guys know, you can actually comment down below. But I don't think there is an actual name for this. Okay. If this one looks like a desert tortoise. Let's take a look at the name below. What is it? Yep, it is a desert tortoise. Nice, very nice. Another crocodile, or is this an alligator? Um, it looks more like an alligator because the snout is actually quite rectangular. If this, it's a collared lizard. I think this is like one of the lizards with the most beautiful colors out there. You, you can find like shades of turquoise, orange, green. Yeah, pretty cool. Sight wider rattlesnake. All right. This is also a pilot wheel. A nice one for sure. Orca. Yes, that's right. I think the orcas are known to have this really, really long fin right over here. I don't even know if fin is the correct word to um, actually describe this. This is basically Birdie the alligator, or is it um, a crocodile? I'm not too sure. Um, it looks more like an alligator to me. Another orca right over here. Okay, nice one, I must say. Cobra, yes, I think we have like two, two to three different cobra figures. Okay, this is actually um, a king cobra. So some cobras, they can actually spit venom um, up to like seven to eight feet away, which is kind of cool. Another um, small one, just like another king cobra, beautiful one. You can see the pose of it. Looks pretty much, it looks very intimidating in fact. This is a tortoise, giant tortoise, I suppose. Let's take a look. Yes, it's a giant tortoise. This one right here is basically um, an albino Burmese python. That's right. Let's see what else we've got. Corn snake. A very beautiful snake with like so many different colors. I mean, not many different colors it's just like red and orange but looks very very pretty i must say nile crocodile okay all right i think this can be found in the nile river let's see what else we've got this looks like a dolphin but it's actually a beluga calf nice one a small little okar 
beautiful figure. And not a cobra. Alright, this time it is slightly greenish in color. Beautiful figure. I think we got this like quite recently. And um, this is a Cora snake. And um, it's supposed to be a baby, a small little snake. Alright, this should be the haunt lizard. Nice. Okay, let's see what else we've got. Is this a, a blue or grey wheel? Blue wheel. Nice. Very nice. A wild. Oh no, this is actually a haunt chameleon, I think. It has like two horns in front. Kind of cool. This should be a boa constrictor. Yep, the striped boa constrictor. A mini bearded dragon. This one right here, it should be an alligator. Looking at the snot of it, seems to be quite rectangular. Ganges River Dolphin. I think this has got to be one of our cutest sea animal in our world collection. This is known as a say whale. All right. Vaquita Purpoise. All right, let's see what else we've got. Bottom nose dolphin, I think. This it's a um, beluga whale, I think so. This huge one is actually a bow head whale. So we have two huge bow head whale figures. Bottom nose dolphin for sure, I think. This it's a nair wheel, a nice one. This is basically the overgrown tooth of a nair wheel. Another beluga. This is a small little species, okay, not exactly small because some of them can actually grow um quite large. So this is actually known as K-Man. Another pilot wheel. This figure is basically the same one as the previous one. A Komodo dragon, as you guys can see. I think we have at least four to five different Komodo dragons. Another haunt lizard. All right. Nice one. Let's see, what else we've got? Oh, a huge one. This is actually an iguana. Really beautiful figure. Pretty big, I must say. This is known as a mink whale. Mink whale. Nice. Um, if I'm not wrong, it should be a blue whale. Let's try it. A blue whale. Veiled chameleon baby. Yes, this is actually the adult version and this is the baby version. So you can see the colors will become much more colorful and vibrant when it grows. Um, older. Yeah, it's very cool. Alright, let's move on. Another Oka right over here. Beautiful one, I must say. A mini Nawil. This is a rough tree green snake. Nice. Very nice. This is actually known as a brown snake, which is a type of snake native to Australia. Should be a desert tortoise. Because I remember we have two of them. Yep, it is a desert tortoise. Let's see, what else we've got? This one it should be a giant tortoise. Pinta Island tortoise. Nice one. And um, I'm not too sure about this. Should be a giant tortoise as well. Ichthyosaurus, not exactly a whale or a dolphin, more like a prehistoric sea um, creature. Let's see what else we've got. Two last figure. A beluga whale, another one. Okay. And a whale shark. Nice one. Alright. 
So I've basically shown you guys three different boxes of um, animals. Sea animals right here and reptiles, okay? There will be more sea animals coming out, so stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.